Hello everybody, this is Cam here again. So now I'm going to be talking to you all about going deeper into the coding side of things using the JavaScript API. So I think the best place to start would be the developer portal that we were at earlier and the JavaScript API section of that. You can see the URL right here. And there, everything related to the JavaScript API can be found at this site. And it's really a valuable resource. So you can see right away what I'd recommend doing is going to the API reference. The API reference gives you documentation on everything there is to know about the JavaScript API. So for example, something you will surely use if you get into the coding side of things is the map module of the JavaScript API. So you can click here and it gives you examples, all CSS associated with it, properties of this particular object, methods, all these things, and documentation on all of them. You can click them and see details. So this is a very valuable resource, especially if you're trying to dissect someone else's code that you're reading. So where would you get this code? You would go to the sample code tab of the API reference. So there are many different examples here of JavaScript API web apps using data either from ArcGIS Online or ArcGIS for Server or even being powered by a web map. So let's search for an example, an example sample code that we can see. So I'm going to select well, for now, I'm just going to look at this one, a dynamic map service to the map. So it's a very simple example. So you can see it gives you a description of what you're looking at, the code required, which is very short in this case. And then you have three options at the top. View a live sample, download as a zip file, or explore in the sandbox. I'm going to click the third option here. So exploring in the sandbox is actually really great. What you get is you can see the actual web map in the right pane and in the left pane you have all the source code and what you can do is you can go into the source code and edit things as you see fit and th those changes will be reflected in the map once you click the run button so say I'm going to do something very simple uh, let's change let's add 10 pixels of padding on the CSS so we change that click run now you can see there's a little bit of padding. You can see the scroll bar is added. But essentially, the idea is you can add JavaScript into this left pane, and all the changes are going to be reflected. You can see the errors that you're going to encounter in the right pane. So it gives you a dynamic experience right inside the browser, and it's very useful. All right, so earlier we were discussing, when we were looking at our web map, how you could plug this into different templates. So we click the Share button. It says Make a Web Application. And this is all great, but what you can do on top of this, we click one of these, these templates and we, we could click publish or we can actually download that. So let's download one right now, this Chrome Twitter template. If I click download, it will direct me to the GitHub page. And what I can do is I can click the download zip, download that to my, I'm going to just download directly to my net server, to my WW root. If you're using Apache, this might be htdocs. Open it up and let's extract it. Well, actually, I'm just going to copy it right in. So if I do this, so there we go. We've, we've added our Twitter template master to our web server. And what we can do now is I'm going to open a text editor. So the text editor I'm using here is called Sublime Text. You can use any text editor you so choose. That could include Notepad++. It could even, you could even use Notepad, although I'd recommend against that because you'll get a lot more extra functionality out of a coding based text editor. So what I can do, I'm going to drop this file into my text editor and now we can see I've got all these different files. So I've got my index, so this is my HTML file that's going to be loaded up. I have my configuration file, my JavaScript config, and all these different NLS, which is language support, all these different folders have all the different components I need for this particular template. So this is very useful if you want to go in and edit your own template. And then you can simply navigate to whatever your, your server is at. So I'm going to just go to my local host, and then I believe it was called Twitter. Let's see. Let's make sure of this. Twitter Template Master. And if I go here, I should be able to access this, this JavaScript application. And there you go. There you go. Opens right up. 
So that's great, and that's really useful. And once you actually understand how you can utilize the JS API, this could become very beneficial if you just want to make modifications to an already built application. Where would you go to learn about the JavaScript API? Well, obviously, the main JavaScript API page I showed you earlier is very beneficial. But another place to go is the learning framework for the ArcGIS API for JavaScript. And this was actually developed in-house within the education department by Krista Amelins. And it's a very, very useful framework for learning how to build applications using the JavaScript API. And you can see the URL right here. So navigate to there. And you see there's many different lessons you can go into. So I'll open one up. This is just a very simple, creating a simple web app. Or start lesson. And let's just start it right up. Click start lesson. And you can see it's actually somewhat similar to what we were looking at before in the, the sandbox environment. We have the instructions in this top left pane. The bottom left pane, we have the code editor. And then the right, we have the actual display of that code. So I'm going to go to a later step in this so you can actually see something in this right pane. And this should load up a map in this right. There you go. So now you can see there's a map centered on New Brunswick. And the same, same things I said earlier about the coding pane, if you make edits to this coding pane, those will be reflected in the, the window on the right. So this is a very a very useful way to learn and if you're new to the JavaScript API I would highly recommend going down this path